Jennifer here, so I'm back again. I've been uploading lately, despite the quality of the videos. I'm showing that I'm dedicated. Mm -hmm. So today I wanted to talk about my paranormal stories, which um, I have a lot because I'm very, very, very inclined in like paranormal stuff, and paranormal stuff always happens to me, around me, to people I know, and it's just really creepy and I feel like I have some connection to the spirit world and it's just really 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 creepy so um I think I briefly talked about my paranormal experiences in another video but I'm going to talk about like it full-on now this is like full-on explaining everything so I used to live in a different city in a different house and when I moved into the house already initially initially um I got bad vibes from it. I didn't know why, like, the people we bought it from were of the, I believe they were Asian, yes they were Asian, and they are very nice people, they never mentioned anything about hauntings or anything like that, you know. Anyway, um, so I moved in there and I always felt weird, always felt like creepy, felt like people were watching me, then I started to think, okay, maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I, I'm just crazy, like, maybe I have issues. No, I'm not. I'm not. I am crazy, but in a different way. <laughs> so, um, weird stuff started happening. Um, sorry. Weird stuff started happening when, um, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> Weird stuff started happening when I decided to be stupid and contact a loved one who passed away through a Ouija board. And it wasn't a real Ouija board anyway, I made it myself. However, I learned the hard way that you never, never, never mess with the spirit world. You never do that. Never that. It can bring you bad vibes. not just the loved one you want to talk to but it can open the gates to demons so on and so forth so forth so after i had cleared the ouija board um my tv started to break and it started to the volume started to go very high 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 and wake me up around one two three in the morning and then it would this would do this every day around the same times really sometimes in the afternoon too i tried to take the batteries out of the converter because i thought maybe maybe it was something to do with the converter the button was stuck or something like that no had nothing to do with that because i took it out so it got to the point where i couldn't sleep with my tv on anymore or i couldn't have my tv on anymore because the volume would just go really high like really high then really low really high full blast and it would, st it would startle me, like, scare the shit out of me. Like, I remember waking up several nights to my TV blasting. And, like, I was so, so scared. <laughs> yeah, you could imagine waking up at 3 a.m. to your TV blasting. So, yeah. Um, I had to unplug my TV. So, when I unplugged my TV, you know, I thought, okay, maybe it was just... Oh, I hate this. It's okay. Maybe it was just something to do with my um, TV or converter was broken or whatever. So then, what's weird, my oven stopped working. The oven would go on and off, and the letters where the time is supposed to be on the electrical part, like where it shows the time, started turning into, the numbers started turning into letters. and. I'm just like, what the fuck? And it would throw random things, like, just random shit. 
I'm like, okay, this is like a coincidence. Like, it has to be a fucking coincidence. Like, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't believe that the spirits in my house were bad spirits, though. I believe it was a good spirit. Trust me. So, around that time, those things happening, one night I woke up and I was possessed. I'm not going to go into that because I sound so crazy to say that. Like, that sounds so idiotic and crazy to say I was possessed one night. But I'm totally convinced that it was. Or or maybe it was all in my head. I don't know. Like, there was just no explanation for what happened. If you guys want to see that video, I will make a separate video on that. But it was very dramatizing and very scary to experience. Hmm. Huh. A little bit of advice for some of you guys, please don't ever play the Ouija board or try to contact the dead. Um, because, sorry, I'm so impatient, because um, it's going to bring in bad spirits and unwanted spirits and bad stuff in your life will start happening. A whole bunch of bad stuff in there. There was negative energy in my house 24-7. My mom and my ex that that started fighting all the time, all the time. And I'm like, it's this negative energy in the house. And I felt it too. I was really depressed. And I started getting sad. And I gained so much weight at that time. And I started binging and like just a whole bunch of stuff. And once I moved out of that house, I felt so good. So good. I feel like I wasted four years of my life in misery. Well, okay, maybe not. Like, I had good times and all that shit, but, like, there was a lot of misery I had to go through in those four years. And it was really hard. I learned a lot in those four years as well because I've been through a lot in those four years, and I'm happy to be at a good place right now. I'm currently still working on a lot of things in my life, though, but I'm getting there, so. So... A couple other side notes of things that would happen is I would hear a whisper in my ear and no, I'm not schizophrenic, so don't try to say that in the comments that I'm crazy and I'm not because I'm not. I don't hear voices. I don't have any certain mental disorder because this only happened to me like on certain occasions and it has never happened since I moved, so I don't know. Like I would hear whispers. I would often hear my name called too as well, which is very creepy and oh, oh okay one more thing i would wear fake eyelashes and i would leave them like i would leave them on my dresser next to me i would wake up several times with a whole bunch of fake eyelashes piled in one pile in the middle of my room and like i would freak because i'm like how did all these eyelashes get here like who put them here because I didn't, like, I, it was so fucking creepy, and I, I had thrown some of those in the garbage, I'm like, how did they get out of the garbage, oh my god, I was terrified, and a lot of the time, I would lose my phone, when I had known that I put it right next to me, and it'd be somewhere else, it was fucked up, like, so many fucked up, unexplainable things happened to me, it's just so creepy. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys want more paranormal experiences, because I have so many, I'd be glad to share them with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad I got to share these scary moments with you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next.